Yo, what's happening out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a solo money glitch video. And this one is beast, let me tell you, okay? It's fairly easy, you just gotta get the timing right every now and then, but it's not way too difficult, okay? So, we're gonna go off with the founders right now. The founders of the original gift cards to friends glitch, which is what this is based off of, is Tuto Facile France. Then, Freight Train What the Fudge found a solo method on how to get glitched out, and then 115 Stig and Ernie from Seven Sins, they found a way to actually make it a solo dupe glitch, okay? And they actually changed one of the steps. They tried to make it so that, you know, you use an insurgent or, an, or a night shark, you know, instead of like a bike, which is what Freight was using, um, which is just stupid. I mean, all that was was just to literally get Freight out of foundership, which is selfish and just wrong, all right? And it doesn't even make sense because the night shark, if you screw up on that, it's going to cost you $20,000 to get it back, and you have to keep using your mechanic anyways to call it back. So it makes no sense, man. That is a low that is a low blow and just a selfish move. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. So I named all the founders, though. Let's get into this, all right? What you're going to need for this glitch is you will need a facility. Now, the facility, you need it to be full, okay? You want it to be full of, like, RHAs or Fagios or anything you want to, like, overwrite. Then you need a fast bike. Uh, you know from a different garage not the facility something like the PCJ or something like that and uh, you need a spot to teleport you see that right there that spot right there wedging my car I know that I can actually teleport right there all right you need a teleport spot for your vehicle and I'll show you why later uh, you need proximity mines and a Benny's vehicle to dupe okay and this Benny's vehicle has to have custom plates on it all right the LG retro custom is what we're gonna be using in the video okay so it must have custom plates remember so i'm going to be using this pcj you guys can be using a sanchez or anything like that remember this has to come from a different garage not the facility now i'm going to go ahead and go to my ammo and i'm going to go to proximity mines and just fill up on all my proximity mines okay now just go up get the full facility alert open up your xbox dashboard or a psn dashboard whatever you guys have and then just close it you'll see the facility full alert will go away so drive around. Now this is what you want to do. You want to toss these proximity mines at a certain length so that you can actually just drive as quick as you can up to it. And then you want them to actually blow up after you accept the alert, the uh, the full facility alert. All right. So it happens kind of fast, which is why I wanted to explain it a bit slower here. So I'm going to throw down some proximity mines. Everybody has a different facility. So the length of where it may work or where it may not work is a bit different. I like to throw two at kind of a different length. And so I'm going to drive up as fast as I can from a certain distance and you want that facility fuller to come up and accept it right before you blow up. Okay, so check it out right here. I'm going to drive up. Boom. You saw that for it flashed, but I hit that. I 100% I hit that. And the way you know you hit it is when you spawn back, you won't see on the top left that your personal vehicle has been destroyed. Okay, that's how you know you hit the glitch. All right, so right now you are actually ready to get any car sucked in. This is like the gift cars to friends right now. Like you can actually get a friend's car and just get a car like this. I'll make a video on that later today, but we're doing a solo money glitch. So now this is what you want to do. You want to go ahead and call up your mechanic. And when you call up your mechanic, this is where you would actually get an LG Retro Custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're using. Remember, this vehicle needs to have a custom plate on it. It must have a custom plate. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call up an LG Retro Custom with a custom plate on it. And you see, this is why we're not using a Night Shark or an Insurgent or anything. Because you see that we would have had to use our mechanic to actually call that up. And then now we have to use our mechanic again to call the LG Retro Custom. I would have been waiting for a cooldown. That's just stupid. It really is. So we're not going to use that method. We're going to use the method Freight actually found. And uh, yeah, so here it is right here. We have our LG Retro Custom. Now, remember I said you need to find a spot to teleport. All right, find a rock. Get a streetcar if you need to and drive up to a wall and get the streetcar to block off the other door. You need both doors to be blocked off, which will allow you to teleport into the vehicle, okay? I found this little spot right here by these barns that allow me to teleport because it blocks off both the driver's side and the passenger side door. So check it out right here. I have this little spot right here. So I go ahead and start spamming Y. And you, you should be able to teleport just like that. You see that how I'm teleporting? That's what you want. So teleport outside of the car, open up your motorcycle club menu, and then hover over return vehicle to storage. Now what you want to do is select Y and A at the same time. All right, so there we go. Check it out. Boom. All right, I had my right thumb on Y and my left thumb on A, and I pressed them basically at the same time. If done correctly, you should be able to open up your interaction menu and see return vehicle to storage. 
okay? If you see that, you hit it correctly. If you didn't teleport in the car and it just disappeared, then you just return it to storage. You gotta wait to call it up again, okay? So now drive up to the back of your facility. You should get the facility full alert and just hit A and you will drive in. And this is your brand new dupe, all right? So on that part with the teleporting, teleporting is mad easy, let me tell you. It's just like the solo money glitch inside the facility, basically, okay? That's all you're doing. It's just like that where you press Y and A at the same time or triangle and X at the same time on PlayStation. It is pretty much the exact same thing. I have hit that part every time so far doing this glitch. The tricky part sometimes is uh, to get solo glitched with the mines, okay? That's probably the trickiest part about this. So, remember how I said you wanted your facility full with RH8s or Fagios? This is why. So now right here, I'm going to go ahead and I actually have Sanchez's. You can use whatever you want. I just use Sanchez's because I got, you know, modern Fagios and RH8s. So check it out. I had a custom plate on it. There we go. That is a clean duplicate. Has a custom plate on it and it's just chilling right there. So the other vehicle, the original, just went back to the garage where it came from. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and just go outside and to rinse and repeat, you just go ahead and call up your bike that you're using to get glitched out and check it out. Mine's already out there on the map, the PCJ, and just go ahead and hop in it and get your mines ready and go ahead and do the glitch again. So I'm going to show you a few fails now before I get another successful attempt because I want to show you what you can fail at. It's not, you know, I'm not perfect here. I do fail every now and then. So go ahead and do the dashboard trick. Just open and close it. The alert will go away. Then go around to, you can go either all the way to the back or the, you know, the left or right corner of the back. All of them kind of work. Now go ahead and throw your proximity mines. Uh, at a certain length, you know, it depends on the speed, it depends on the, the facility you're at. You, you kind of have to, you know, figure out your own little way of doing this, all right? Now, uh, what you want to do now is, like I said, go ahead and drive up and you want to select that full alert right before you get blown up. Now, you see, I anticipated it there. Don't anticipate it because then you'll accept the alert before the bombs blow up and then you will just get sucked in. All right, so I wanted to show you what happens right there. And now when you're inside, just press B, cancel that, and then just go back outside and try again. Okay, so th this is why, guys, imagine if you were using a night shark or anything like that. You would have to actually, you know, call it back up and everything and do all that again. No, it's, it's bullshit, man. So go ahead now and, uh, you know, get the facility full alert open up your dashboard close it drive over to the back and then go ahead now and you know throw those uh excuse me throw those uh you know proximity mines now just go ahead and toss them uh i'd say honestly it may be like a foot or two you can even do it a bit farther you'll see in my successful attempt i actually throw them farther you just it really depends on the angle of the hill that you're on or the speed or if it's flat or not and look what happens when you're too late so right there I was able to uh, to get them to blow up, but I didn't get the facility full alert. And because I didn't get the facility full alert, it actually destroyed. You see on the top left, my personal vehicle was destroyed. This is also why we're using a cheap bike, okay, and a fast bike. Look at that, $112 to replace that. If you were using a Night Shark or anything, you'd have to pay $20,000 every time you fail. All right, that's just not worth it, man. Not worth it. So get the facility full alert. This is a successful attempt. Open up your dashboard, close it. The facility folder will go away. Drive over to the other side. And this is where I actually had more success doing it every now and then, okay? Like, I, ha I hit it at least four out of five tries every time right here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some proximity mines uh, right about there. I'm thinking that's a good distance. Now, I like to throw this one a bit closer, and there we go. So, you know, two just for good luck. One a bit farther, one a bit closer. Drive up as fast as you can. Select it and then boom, blow up. So I knew I hit it right there. I actually pressed A on that alert and then blew up right after. Now remember, you know that you hit it because check it out on the top left, it doesn't say my personal vehicle was destroyed. That's how you know you 100% hit it. All right, if you have to call up Moore's Mutual to get your vehicle back, that means you didn't hit it, okay? So once we've hit the glitch, just like that, right now go ahead and call up your mechanic and go and, you know, request your Benny's vehicle. In this case, I'm even going to call up a different LG Retro Custom. I'm going to call up a different one that I have. I know which ones these are. And uh, yeah, this one also has a custom plate on it, so I know that I will be good. Uh, guys, I'm going to do a gift cards to friends video later explaining what you really need for the custom plates. Not many YouTubers have gone over it, so I will go over it in great depth, you know. So now we're going to go ahead and hop in the LG Retro Custom and we're going to go over to that spot where, you know, where we're going to be teleporting and stuff like that. So remember, you can find, if you find a rock, if you find a sign, uh, you know, a couple cars, anything, you just need to be able to teleport in the vehicle in some way. Okay, so I'm right here at the teleport uh, spot that I found. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just spam Y to make sure I'm teleporting. There we go. So hit Y to be outside. Now go ahead and hover over return vehicle to storage and press Y and A at the same time. Boom. We press it at the same time. You will not fail that guys like Y and A, triangle and, a, and, and X at the same time. Check to see if it says return vehicle to storage while you're in the car. If it does, you have hit it perfectly. If it disappeared, you need to call it up again and you need to try again, okay? So drive up to the back side of it and just like that guys, boom, select A and you will be sucked in with your brand new duplicate. All right, replace over a Faggy or an RH8 and you're good to go. All right, so remember before you drive these out, uh, when you drive these out, these will get bricked, so you got to restart your game if you really want to drive these, but it's all good, all right? So that's it for this solo money glitch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, make sure to subscribe to the Roll Easy channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red subscribe button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like down on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. We are on the road to 15,000 subscribers. I'm out. <laughs>